Welcome. Oh, I knew I was going to do it. Ha ha. Welcome to the Power Friendship Podcast. <laughs> I'm your host, Sailor Gaines, and this is my co-host, Ben and Jay, Mother Fife and Blanco. How you doing today, baby? I'm good, bro. You? I'm good. But we here at the Power Friendship give you a daily dose of friendship. All right? We have comics, movies, the video games, pop culture, all that music and all that good jazz. And happy mama day. Happy Mother's Day. Also, drink your water, hit that share button, hit the like button, tell your mom and dad, please, we love you, all right? We love you. All right, also, follow us on our socials. Uh, we got a lot of news today, it's a lot of news coming out with Jane, but first, we must go to Hyrule. How's Zelda? How's Zelda? How's Zelda? What's, what's going it's on? It's nice, man. It's really good. It's, okay. it's pretty, it's a bit challenging. Obviously, because you get thrown into this massive ground and air world. So, there's a lot to do. And, you know, like everyone else on the internet says, easy to get distracted. I'm just just scared of these three-headed dragons. Every time I see in the sky, I'm like, please don't hit me. Please don't look at me. Please don't look at me. <laughs> and, yeah, it's... The, the one thing I do hate, though, is the fucking rain when you try to climb and you slip and fall. And I fucking absolutely hate it. Because obviously in Breath of the Wild, I had I had the 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 armor set to, to negate all that. So, like, starting from scratch. And the way the game starts, mm, beautiful. There's a lot of, a lot of like, uh, like Miyazaki Studio Ghibli things that they take inspiration from, and I think like if you're going to take inspiration, like why not that? Because hmm. like there's a specific scene that reminds me so much of uh, Princess Monike with uh with the arm and the sword and black goo. It's pretty fucking crazy, bro. And I I like it, and it's pretty cool because they definitely treat this game like a sequel. Like, obviously, you could play this game, and like you know, this is your first Zelda game. I mean, they do make it like you know comfortable. There there is a lot of recap, but they definitely do treat this like a sequel because there's a lot of characters that'd be like, "What were you think? We heard that you and Zelda blah blah blah," and it's it's. It's pretty cool, actually, to get like a a direct sequel, no. and and they obviously oh. explain a hundred percent. Because I was curious, I'm like, okay. how are they going to depower you? Because how the game starts, you start off with thirty hearts, the max heart, and uh, max stamina. So I'm like, all right, how does all this go away? And they do it, and I'm like, all right, cool. That's how they do it. I mean, I hate it because I was like, I wish I could be my powerful self right away but i get it i get it it's a game it's a sequel they do that in every type of sequel for games but i'm always interested in that in like rpg games like how they depower you because it's different for like story-based games like an uncharted game where it's like there's no like really progression of like your gear and stuff but like for an rpg like zelda it Mm. makes a lot of sense like it's it's curious because like they did it in Horizon, and they did it in God of War, where I was like, all right, how do you get depowered? That's always my first question, any sequel for an RPG. And I, I like it. I like how every game does it differently. But so far, it's beautiful. It is it is a sight for see, and if you definitely like Skyward Sword, you're definitely going to like this, too, because it has a blend of Breath of the Wild in that, too. Uh. I gotta play Zelda. Well, last Zelda I played was for for uh, Swordsman. Well, That's the Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. Advance. Yeah. Last time I played it, it was for four Capcom. people. That's a Capcom game too. It was dope. It was dope, man. It was dope. It was dope. But uh, Metacritic score was like low. It was like fifty six. Why is that? Metacritic? Are you saying is it the fan or the actual reviewer? Fan. The fan. Oh, then. Oh, it's it's because of this. Because people are instantly saying it's a glorified seventy dollars DLC, uh, which is not. It is, bro. Literally, there's so many new elements in this game where it's just like, bro. If you wanted a sequel for this game, they're not going to go to a different region. Like, what other region are you going to go to? It's Hyrule, but it's Hyrule with like skies and like literally chasms. Like, there's like gigantic black dude like 
the evil holes in the fucking earth. And also, Ganon being voiced by Matthew Mercer, amazing, bro. Mm-hmm. Ganon's fucking entrance in this game is fucking epic, bro. Honestly, I don't give a fuck. I mean, because people are still buying the fucking game, so it's obviously working. So it says, though. right now, it's that. I, it's and I like it. I mean, like it still has the issue with like. Oh, it's at eight point four now. It's at eight point four now. It was at it was at five point six like earlier. Well, probably because people bought it and brought it back up. But what's the what's the critic score? Nine like nine point six. Uh, yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> it's it's nine. it's. Bro, it's beautiful, bro. It's people giving it hundreds. Oh my god! Yeah, I mean, like, mm. I wouldn't really agree with that since, like, a lot of these critics only could they only played like the story of the game. Which I mean, like, if the story of the game is getting a hundred, I mean, and the main premise of this game is exploration, it's like, then yeah, I I I, I agree. I mean, this game is. It's a lot to take in, obviously, like, coming into this, like, with only three hearts, it's just like, shit. Alright, I gotta <laughs> I gotta be careful. Because anything can kill you right away. Three bops, you're done. Yeah. Three bops, you're dead. Three bops, you're dead. Yeah, it looks like everybody's just, I forgot, like, it's just so popular. Everybody's talking about it. And I'm happy I got it on release, because, like, I didn't get Breath of the Wild on release, because I didn't get the Switch on release, I got it two years later. Mm. But people get, people get them OLED switches. Yeah, and they were actually relatively available too. They were so I want, like, I want that Pokemon one. Yeah, well, I'm I'm never gonna get that. Why? Why not? <laughs> Bro, no, because I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm how good. Call? Oh, that's just a three. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's how much the OLED cost. I think I should get it. I think I should get it. No, you're good. You don't even play your Switch. I do play my Switch. I play Pokemon. Barely. Not 300 hours. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. It and is plus, you're getting though. Street Fighter soon. Street. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, my life is about to be go, 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 go. <laughs> I'm off that day. I cannot wait, buddy boy. <laughs> Your boy's going in. I'm going to have a Blue Beetle tattoo. Buddy, yeah, yeah. Buddy, yeah, yeah. Ben, you coming? Yeah, I'm gonna go and judge you the entire time. Oh, I love it. I want. I want you to judge. Just a. F- I love it. Um. Also, Blue Beetle. Don't read Blue Beetle. Graduation day. Go to the support local combo shop. For God, for love. Also, last week was uh, was it two weeks ago? Oh, two weeks ago was uh, free combo book day. New combo book day. Support your local combo shops. Okay, support them. All right, I need you. Uh, first you get talked to the trailer watch. I sent you what trailer? Yeah, the city swing. The city sweetie trailer. That was good, right? It's weird. I like city sweetie. Mm-hmm. I, city sweetie. I don't care. For what weird. reason? I don't care. Huh? For what reason? Huh? I give you. Th- I give you three. I give you three. Okay. Passion. Heartfelt. And she's amazing. Uh huh. She's amazing. Okay. That's that's why uh-huh. I love city sweetie, man. Come on. What else would you like, city sweetie? Come on, man. I'm still mad she's not black cat. <laughs> I'm still mad she's not black cat. I'm still mad she's not black cat. Oh, I'm so mad about that. Whatever. Anywho, speaking of, we'll do Superman later. I want to do Superman stuff first. Okay. There's a lot of Superman stuff going around. So first off, I found this. Okay, so uh, Superman Legacy will be populated by many faces as it will seek to introduce DC heroes that are already established in the movie setting. Boom. Didn't we already do that in, um... This sounds familiar, doesn't it? Does this sound familiar? Like, did we already do that with Zack Snyder? Like, I'm just saying. Before well, in the past. Who's Zack Snyder in DC Universe? Who's that? I mean... <laughs> who's that? <laughs> okay. All right. We got, like, the man, the man, the man, the myth, the legend, the, the goat. But yeah, James Gunn also said one only one person is cast in Superman. Like, who's that? He didn't say. <laughs> he said only one person is cast. Probably his wife. Oh, it might be true. As little thing. No. Nah, I'm kidding. No, 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 no. I'm kidding. Um. Next is uh, I guess we do the suit. All right, all right. They pick the cast. They got they. They talk about 
All these people. All right, let's go. We got. Mm. All right. We do Lois Lane first, okay? The girl from uh, Sex Education. Mm hmm. Sex Education. Uh, Emma Daiquiri? Daiquiri, whatever her name is called? The Dakari? Meg McKenna? Hold on, I'm, I'm messing up names. Hold on, let me get to we, we here. Get to our sources right here. All right, hold on. Because she was cool. I mean, they all look. They all look like a little bit. I want. I want some more weaving. To be honest, that's who I want. I want her to be Lil Zane. Yes, yeah, so Phoebe died. Denver. Denver. Mm -hmm. Samar weaving. Emma. Ma Emma. Mackie and Rachel Bron Shan. Rachel Bron Shan. I want Emma. 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 Uh, Emma Mackie. They both look like a uh, Margot Robbie. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Is that weird? Is that weird to say? No. They, no. They, both, they both like Emma, Emma Roberts. What the fuck? Uh, and then they said uh, David Cross and Sweat and Nicholas Hall as Taka Terrence for Superman and Lex Luthor and Superman Legacy. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Our good old man Nate uh never sent his uh, seven sent him seven never sent in his artist audition date. He looks like Superman though. A little bit. Yeah, but it's gonna be kinda hard to like put him as that since I've seen him in uh Ed Euphoria as a bad bad man. I know. I mean as a his bizarre <laughs> was, his bizarre was slap. His bizarre was slap. I'm just saying his bizarre <laughs> was slap. <laughs> Or his uh, and Justice Superman would be would be would be cool for him. I don't know, mm, man, man, man. So what do you thought? What's your thoughts? What's your thoughts, Benny? Do you have a Superman cast? Do you want? Hell, fucking no, bro. No, I don't envy anybody with that job. I mean, you know I mean, honestly, just do the the thing that they've always done with Superman: get an actor who hasn't really done much at all. They've done that literally every, for all the major Superman uh, live action movies. So just keep with that with that theme, and usually those careers blossom and flourish after that role. Mm. I don't have. I want to hear me Cavill as Superman. I like him as Superman. Mm. Well, he, could, he could be. Uh, he could be King of Kong Superman. Oh. When, when, he, when he gets gray. Yes. 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 I want that. I want that. Okay, so Shazam only made one hundred thirty-three million. Oh, that's fucking trash. <laughs> what would you expect? Uh, it doesn't deserve that. It doesn't deserve that. I don't care what anybody says. Forget y'all. Shazam was great. Not Shazam really was great. Movie, Not really good. Shazam movie. was great. Shazam was great, okay? Don't try to play Shazam like that. Nah, it was. Saying, it was it, fine. It had it, heart. Yeah, I don't care. Not really all that much. I don't care what anybody says to me. It had heart. Shazam, was, Shazam 2 was great. Y'all just haters. I hate y'all. <laughs> God. Anywho. Flame the Rock. Right. Huh? Flame the Rock. Oh, oh, we, oh, we getting there. We getting there. We get to the rock. <laughs> we getting there. So, Fast X. <laughs> Vin Diesel yeah, confirmed. It's a fucking trilogy. For the it's final a trilogy, one. bro. For the third. Who does ah, that? Okay. Okay. First off, it can't be a trilogy at this point. You're at 12, bro. But like, so now they're gonna like split the last. No, just I don't. Know. And then what? It's gonna clock hits twelve, and it's gonna reverse time. You think time travel will be involved? Oh fuck it, bro! I wouldn't put it past it, bro. They, they already do stupid shit already. They're gonna go to space eventually. Mm. Probably stop a nuclear bomb or some shit. Drive a fucking Corvette up into space and have Tyrese like shout. I don't fucking know in the rock. Inject those cedo cuz. Inject those cedo cuz. I uh, Brie Larson though. Yeah. At the she, at the premiere. Yeah, yeah, bro, her career is done now. Shut she's up. In she's Shut in the Fast and Furious movie. She's on. She's in the Marvels. Barely. You think she just she could get sidelined for Monica Rambeau? Yeah. Mm, no, I just think that movie is just going to be blah. We, look, bro, bro. We had a high with Guardians, and then we're gonna go to this nice low with the Marvels. And you're gonna see the 
the visual quality is how shitty it's going to be. Right. I guarantee you, bro. I guarantee right. you. I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be amazing. I think it's just going to be okay. All right, all right, all right. What's your Rotten Tomatoes? What's your, what's your, we don't, we don't, well, Rotten Tomatoes are for sheep. You but... keep saying that, and then you keep bringing it up. Well, because I have to let people know, let the trees know. Martin, Martin Tomatoes are for sheep. Go to the movie if you want to see the movie. Go see, go see it for yourself. Number it's, two. It's probably going to get like a, a 70 to an 80 for critics, and then fans, it's going to be like a 50 to 40. All right, I think it's going to be high high 80s. And fans are going to be giving it 100%. No, they won't. Fans will give it 30. No, 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 no. Yeah, probably. No, 80. It's going to be 80, 80. No, it's not going to be 80, 80, bro. It's not going to be an even split. 80-80. Gotta be 80-80, no. man. Gotta be 80-80. Check, check, the, check, ca- uh, check Captain Marvel and check uh, Ms. Marvel and see the fan splits with those. Mm. It's gonna be similar to that. Mm. Mm. Plus, like, after the summer of, like, crazy comic book movies we're gonna get with uh, Into the Spider-Verse and then, like, Justice League, uh, well, ah, The Flash, and then we're gonna get this whatever fucking Marvel... Next- we all got heat coming out. We got next is Little Mermaid. Are you go, are you gonna see that? No, I haven't watched a live action Disney movie ever. I don't plan on it. Not one. No. We we go through no. this every time, don't we? We go through this every time. Yeah, I just okay. don't have any care. The animation, the animated versions are always the best one. Hmm. Hmm. Bro, they're making a the live action Moana. That only came out like what six years ago, seven years ago. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Fast X, we get three. We get three for the trilogy. I don't know how we got so here. It's not three. It's just going to be. Mean, it's going to be ten, eleven, twelve. That's all. Not nah, they're all all right. Fast X is part one, part two, and part three. No, no, that just doesn't make sense. Now you're doing the whole fucking Attack on Titan shit. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? <laughs> Meanwhile, The Rock is coming back. Fast of X. course, because they want more money. Hmm. And he's not going to lose because we already know his contract. <laughs> so, spoilers there, I guess. Hmm. How you feel about that? I don't care. My Benny, you don't care about Fast X? Listen, man. It's sort of America's treasures, okay? One of America's great no. treasures. And I hate how that's like the example of American cinema, even though it's not even like, like, uh, like uh, promoted to us. It's literally an international sensation because other countries have never seen any good movies, and these are the only movies that are legally allowed to go out there in certain countries because it's so tone deaf and dumbed down and fucking stupid. Mm. You went there. You went there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like Fast X. I don't know why. I don't know yet. I'm right. Well, I'll see you when I see it. Uh, are you gonna see it in theaters with me? No. You bring anyone else, not me. What if I pay for your ticket? I don't care. I won't accept it because I'm not wasting my time. <sighs> I'm gonna kidnap you and do it. Mm. You gotta know. There's but a way look. to get around it. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 All right. Next, I have. I guess we'll do. We'll do what we're reading next. I have. I have more, but I have more. But I'll, I'll change it up today. What are you reading? I'm reading "Deadbeat" by uh, Jim Butcher. It's book six of the Dress and Power. It's like I said before, many many episodes ago. It's Harry Potter meets Dirty Harry, so it's a wizard detective detective story. And it's cool. Interesting. Interesting. Cool. What about you? I'm reading Alan Moore's Swamp Thing, which is amazing. Let me know. I don't know. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I've been on Swamp Thing kick. Also, HBO Max, why'd you take Swamp Thing off of HBO Max? Because now they're doing the whole fucking Disney. Well, no, Disney's copying them. They're, they're cost effective. Uh, apparently, having these shows on, like, is like killing in their their bottom line. Apparently, Bro, and... I wanted to watch Fall Thing the other day. I was like, you know what? It's not on. Also, two. Why the? F- <laughs> All right. Also, Disney and 
uh, who's going to be a, a, a cohesive unit soon. Yeah, yeah. And I don't fucking get it. So now, like, our show is going to be just referred to as a Disney Plus original. I, ooh. Because, like, the oh. whole premise, the whole premise of having, like, the Hulu Disney Plus split was, like, you put more of your mature content on the Hulu aspect plus, like, other, mm. other shit. So, like, what are we going to get? Are we going to just get an additional, like, little slot in Disney Plus where, like, you have the, the Pixar, Disney, Marvel, Star Wars, and, like, National Geographic, and then you're just going to add a Hulu aspect to it? Hmm. So, I, I guess it's cost of, it, they're just trying to save money by not having that Hulu app, which, yet again, is a, stu- it's a stupid copy of fucking the HBO Discovery Max shit, which, by the 26th, it's just going to be referred to as Max, which is stupid. And because like if you take the M and you replace the A with a with a O and then the M or the the M with the A uh, C it's gonna just be called cock. Cock. Everything is just cock right now, bro. I hate it. The, bro, I fucking despise it. Hulu <laughs> is yet again a household name. Alright? <laughs> now you're telling me I gotta go like what what is this with the with the Disney, with the Hulu bundle, like, is it still going to be like that? Because if everything is in one app, mm-hmm. what am I? What am I doing? Just paying for a plugin? Like, it's all owned by the same fucking company. I just, I don't get it, bro. Like, <sighs> it's weird. It's nasty. It's nasty out here. Okay, so, okay, so, all right. Also, Homecoming. And Spider Man as Homecoming and Venom on Disney Plus now. Did you like Homecoming? Uh, Spider Man. I mean, I didn't mean. Uh, how, how, did you? Did you like Homecoming? I thought it was just okay. It's just yeah, Spider Man Junior. Spider Man not doing Iron anything. Man, Iron Man Junior. Yeah, Spider Man not doing anything to me. That was a movie. It has a cool. It has a cool final fight though. One of the best, I think. I kind of wish he was fighting Vulture like and like how he fought Vulture in other games, but it's okay. But it's fine. It's it's okay. It's okay. Uh, Venom. We think about Venom. Venom. Stupid. <laughs> so. Pure cinema. No, not even close. Venom is pure cinema. No, if Venom is pure, pure, pure fun. It's fun. That's all. Nothing to say like crazy about it. But like, all right, next. I guess you could do. <sighs> I do elephant. I get, well, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. All right. So, are you watching Yellow Jackets? No. We have to get you to watch Yellow Jackets. Bro. How are you not watching Why? Yellow Jackets? Why? Why do I have to watch it? Because it's know. amazing. Like Yellow Jackets is amazing. Hulu, you have Hulu. Oh no, it's a plug in. Never mind. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a plug in, oh. right? Oh, I wish. <sighs> I wish it, so many streaming services. That I wish it was just like why. Why equalizer equalizer three? How do you? I don't even. They're making the third. I, I don't even, bro. I don't even. My 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 mom watches the show. I don't. I don't bang with the show or is yeah, it the movie. The show. She, uh, she watches the movie too, but she watches the show every. I don't get it. It's not my thing. I'm not a Denzel guy. Never was. I think he's cool. I don't get you. Have you watched it? It's... I watched the two movies. Uh, who when John Wicker? Uh. Equalizer. Yeah. Who will win? Uh, probably John Wick. He's pro. Okay, first off. Okay, all right, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He I'm looking at just... you like I know. Like I know. Like, <laughs> I've always seen Equalizer like 20 minutes of it. I was like, yeah. Nothing really, I really bang with it. But I need to see John Wick 4. Shit. Like, I need to see John Wick 4. I still haven't seen it. It's like two or three hours, though. <sighs> What's all these three-hour movies? Little Mermaid premiered. Uh, look good. Uh, Wait, it released this past weekend? It comes out... Next weekend? Tomo- next weekend, I think? Next week? I'm about to lie. Next weekend. But, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Guardians of the Galaxy holds the world's most record... For the most prosthetic use in the film with 22,500. The record, the record was previously held by the How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I didn't know. Really? 
Yeah, I didn't know that. That was? I did not know that. I mean, I knew knew Guardians broke the record even prior, but like, damn, the Grinch, damn. I mean, that movie did look good, too, even for its time, too. Yeah, I'm... mm, mm. Man, listen. Ghost Guardians. Amazing movie. Amazing movie. It was cool. Even if you don't like the Guardians. I have the Guardians jacket. It's pretty sick. Of course you like it. Now you have the jacket. I was time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Don't don't play it. Don't play it off like you don't like it. Huh. Huh. I love the jacket. I don't only thing I don't like Guardians 2. It's not Guardians 2's man. But Guardians 2 hit different now that I watched Guardians 3. So I'm gonna to watch Guardians 2 again, see how I like it, fair with it. But it's totally different thing that I'm like, I don't know if I do like it or I wanna like it, but it's just I don't know. But I do like the jacket, it's sick. I got the pants coming. It's gonna be sick. I'm gonna be Guardian. It's gonna be dope. But anywho, let's get to I guess we talk alright. I wanna save the I wanna remember news for later. <laughs> I'll say what was this for later. Beetlejuice 2 is happening. It's happening really fast. Okay, so, all right. Willem Dafoe's in it. Jenna Ortega's in it. So, what on the street is Scream 7 doesn't want to wait for Jenna Ortega. So, the question is, Benny, do you replace Jenna Ortega? Yeah, just do what you do always and be like, oh, she's away. That's oh, you really could do it. that. My thing is just switch her out with Neva Campbell. Is that bad? Look at your face. <laughs> he about to call me that word. No, look at the face. <laughs> How did you know? You got that face like... Nick. Uh-uh. He about to call me that word. No. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know. It's just to me, I <sighs> Scream Seven shoot they want to shoot Scream Seven like ASAP, so it's possible. But Beetlejuice you start filming this summer. That's Beetlejuice business, too. man. That's just business. I mean, yeah. I don't think bro, Beetlejuice too, it's it's gonna just only hit that nostalgic feel, but it's not gonna be good. I don't think so. Like after like twenty or thirty years later, like shit like that, like I've said countless times, just Sequels that long of a wait just don't hit as well. Mm. And, and this, it's just it's, it had they have the cast, but yeah. it's just like the, it's like the timing. It's just like why mm. now? Why not then when it was on a high roll? Like especially Tim Burton. And I mean, like yeah, you're getting like act actors now that are like high end, but like no, no, like yeah. at least like what Scream is doing. It's like right, we're making a sequel. Right, we're going yeah. to do another one. And while while it's hot, so I don't straight. know. Like you're going to get a lot of those old heads going into the theater, and you know they're going to only see it that one time, and then it's going to mm. have a bad dip in the second week. Bad dip. All right. Across the Spider Verse is tracking to earn seventy mil to eighty mil in the film domestic opening weekend. All right, let's see here, y'all. Y'all didn't see this movie last time. The last... Yeah, well, well last, last time it came out during, like, freaking Christmas time. Yeah. Which was not a good time. I had an early screening of it. Damn. I got to early screen of it before it came out. Uh, super. I got it super early. It was, like, it was like two weeks before the movie came out. Oh, my God. What's, were you there? No. I saw, I saw it twice. I didn't see I it think it, I think it's going to have probably maybe a little bit of a better box office, but I don't think yeah. it's going to have that good. It comes out June second, but I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna have like a a as big of a uh, opening or box office life as it usually does. Mm. Like it's it's definitely going to hit like better numbers, maybe like hit break even, but I don't know. Just something about animated movies that it aren't like fucking Disney or Illumination. I don't know. Did you like the album? Did you all right? Did you like the album? The Spider Verse. The album was fire, bro. Are you waiting for the next one? Metro Boomin. Metro Boomin. We'll see how that Metro sounds. Metro Boomin. What's the mo? Metro Savage. I like songs. 
I do like Toy for Tears a lot. <laughs> Metro Boomin was not low. <laughs> but I don't know. It's Spider Man soundtrack. That's gonna be crazy. <laughs> nigga, nigga, nigga. All right, uh, let's check out. <laughs> so, uh, The Walking Dead, Dead City. All right. I don't know. It's Negan and Maggie. I don't. Who watches The Walking? You still watch Walking? I well, nobody watches. No. We don't watch The Walking no. Dead. I haven't watched Walking Dead in a long time, and it was great. The first season was great. I thought, but uh, Negan and Negan is coming back with Maggie, and in New York, I guess, with zombies. I'm with it. <sighs> They're re-releasing Old oh Boy. <laughs> you like Old oh Boy? Wait, a third time? Old oh Boy? Yeah, Wait. it's gonna be. Yep, yep, yep. It's gonna um. It's gonna be remastered. Wait. Hold on. Wait, are the you first talking film, about old yeah, dog it's or restored. old boy? Oh boy! You are talking about the, yep, the, the it's Korean remas- film? Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be remastered and restored. Oh, bro, it has like one of the greatest one shot like in the film. All side the, it's coming to theaters ever. Yikes! I remember that movie. That mm. that Woo! has a really really <laughs> great hallway scene. Yeah, it's true, 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 true. True, true, true. Also, Black Mirror Season 6 will have five episodes. That um, is fucking trash. Bro, because Season, what, four had three? I get it. You have some great actors, but I'm just like, they, like, it depends also, like, how long each of these episodes, because they could be, like, an hour and a half and shit like that, but I'm like, uh, I mean, I'm excited. I'm I'm interested to see what's uh, going to be the premise because I feel like a lot of their other episodes have come true in some ways. Yikes! Um, they have the episode de- de- depictions up. I'll send it to you, but I don't, I don't want to look at them. I kind of want to just know on my own. Uh, Zazzy Beats is in the episode. Uh, Aaron Paul's in it. All that. Yeah, David Shields. Oh, who else is it? It's a lot of big names. Uh, let me look at that. I'm looking right now. Hmm. Huh. Let's see. Oh, they got uh Annie Murphy, Michael Sarah, Rob Delaney, Ben Barnes. Oh, okay. Uh, Samuel Blinken, Mia. Oh God, I got a lot of people. Daniel Portman. Uh, Josh Hartnett. Mm. What? Aaron Paul. Mm-hmm. Mm. Rory, Rory Culkin, isn't it? Okay, yeah, I got some dancer hitters. Uh, oh wow, dude. Okay, okay. Yeah, the last season was trash. I didn't, season I didn't watch four. it. It's terrible. It was bad. Yeah, it was, it was bad. bad, bad. Mm. Oh man, I kind of like the first season was the best one. I think season like either two or three were the best. In my opinion. One more. Well, he had a, a day in Kalaluya, what his name is. That was a good season. He was that dancing. Oh, uh, yeah. 15 million merits. Yeah, that was crazy, bro. I didn't. <sighs> that, was, that was bad. That was bad. Uh, yikes. And the one with the dude with the Tobia with the eye thing. Oh, that was. That was the camera and his wife. The, oh, that the was, history. That was, the history of hell. us. I don't yeah. want that, man. I don't want that ever. I like, I don't. That'd be cool to have, though. Like, but I'd be like, nah. Would no, it wouldn't be, bro. It's just like humans are not meant to have that much power. Mm-hmm. I just like, mm. but uh, Freaky Friday, sequel the works. I guess. All right, I say shut thing, up, bro. shut your mouth, shut say your mouth, safety, bro. Shut I, your I, mouth, shut I, your I, dirty I'm little saying, mouth, I'm saying it. I'm shut saying your dirty little mouth right now. now. Freaky Friday, that was my soundtrack. I had a biggest right. crush. That's cool. That's awesome. It was a good movie. The, 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 no, it was a great movie for the time. And I'm like, bro, like 20 years later, no. Why? No one's asking for this. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have it, Benny. Let me have it. Let me have the freaking Friday. I love Lizzie Lohan. I think she's great. I mean, but... it's going to be cool to see her back working, but it's just like, bro, you're going to have like, I don't know. It's just uh, it could be her, her daughter, and her and with Jamie Lee Curtis, all three switched bodies. Oh wow! Yeah. You remember when we did this like twenty years ago? Wow! Let's yeah, try all to right, figure all this all right. out. All right, man. All right, man. All right, man. All right, man. Let's listen, do a listen, TikTok. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> I hate you so much right now. Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Okay? So many movies in my life, bro. Oh my god! Don't don't be that way. 
Don't yeah. don't be that way. I am. Okay. Ooh, All right, man. Don't uh, <laughs> no, I miss it? Ah, ah, mm. All right, listen. I like it. It's my How? Favorite. You haven't even. You don't even know what it's about. You just hear it's in the words. Time out. Time out. Time out. I like Freaky Friday. I want to see what the yeah. movie's about. Don't come at me like that. Forget you. Okay. Freaky Friday, <laughs> bro. I like Freaky no. Friday. Yeah. Watch that one. Don't, why are you in the? Why are you? No sequel. You don't want you. <sighs> come on, man. Don't do me like that, Vinny. Don't do me like that, baby. I thought we supposed to be brothers. We supposed to be brothers. We supposed to be, you supposed to love me, man. I'm your guy. Yeah, you okay? know you know what we got after Freaky Friday. What was that one with uh, Rob Schneider? And the the hot of, chick. Uh, yeah, yeah. We got shit like that. Stupid we got the hot. Like hot chick was good. Yeah, for its time, bro. For its okay. time. But that, like that shit, just the like, that gimmick in Hollywood is long dead right now. Switching bro. bodies is dope, bro. I think it's a dope thing. It's, it's, it's not, not anymore, before, bro. It's it was good back then, bro. It's just like now, it's just cheesy and corny. You know it's just, just like, take, oh, imagine a movie where like a black person switches with a white person. That'd be yeah, crazy. Yeah, they would have done that then. Now, when you do it now, it's gonna be no. It's just it, it, would, it would be, be crazy, crazy now. It, 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 it would no, pop no, now. No, it would be really good. But knowing how Hollywood does shit like that, it would be so fucking stupid and cringy, and it mm. would just not like have any heart to it. Now, if it was done by like a good director, they'd be like, "Yo, mm-hmm. we trust you. Do your thing." <laughs> it could be a funny ass movie. But knowing mm-hmm. how Hollywood does shit like that, they like especially like how scared they are for like trying to make anybody of like like color bad. Like they just be like, "No." Nah. We we wouldn't do it. We we don't want to make the we want to make the white person evil and bad. It's just like, bro, we got enough of those movies. Let's just have fun. Just knowing how Hollywood acts, they're fucking stupid. Okay, so Jeff yeah, Rowe change, says, yes. the "I'm changing." You know, I'm doing that. I'm changing the subject. You know, I am sucker. <laughs> like, ah! James Rowe says they wanted Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Man to be like Stand by Me. And Lady Bird, but with turtles. Bro. Right, bro. First off, right. no, right. <laughs> no. Stand by right. me. Right. <laughs> that movie's dark. <laughs> I mean, it's no. Gone. I mean, like it's a it, the whole premise of the body, which is your actual story, is just the loss of innocence. Like when you're this child, like you think you're invincible, and then, boom, you see a dead body. It's like fuck. This is real. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, yeah, the turtle movies can do that. The only way that can happen is you kill fucking, you know. Who. No. Yeah, no. exactly. I know, no. right? <laughs> this is what we're not gonna do. We're not gonna do that. This is what we're not gonna do. If they do that, I'm walking out. Oh my mama, I'm walking out. Oh Mother's Day, I'm walking out. They kill Splinter in that movie. Bruh. And it's like brutal too. Like he's just got <laughs> Sha! He gets it pale. Sha! <laughs> I know. Don't do that. Look, Music Mayhem is I'm excited for, but just keep it good. Keep Shredder out to like the third movie. Or the yeah, second movie. Do or you could be like in the comedy kill him for day one, issue one. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh but the turtles can but I did see they have white eyes. So which I like. Which is dope. I like white eyes. Oh my things. Uh, CW canceled and renewed some shows. Uh, for me, Superman Lewis better not go because it's some the best, one of the best Superman properties of all time. Okay, listen, with Superman, well, what's going? What was supposed for Superman Lois? Lois has cancer right now, and the, this is the moments of Superman going to therapy, understanding stuff like so just Superman doing everyday life thing is pretty interesting. It's cool. It's, I'm surprised we haven't explored that in movies. Like and then the little cute stuff they do to each other, like Lois sticks her tongue out at him, goes, and he does it to her. And it's like adorable, man. I just love seeing Superman in a cuddly environment. And like Tyler Heckler is a great Superman. Good job, man. Making me feel things. Uh Gotham Knights got renewed. Um I know why you did it, CW. That's petty. Because <laughs> because it's easy to make and it's fine. But I, I, I'm gonna, I'm. A, it's an interesting season, but I'm just ah. And Flash, uh, I see what you're doing. We finally got to the scene in season one 
where he said this, and it was him from season nine. I, that was dope. That was dope. And you saw season one, and you saw season one, he was like this from season nine. And you realized that was season nine Flash. And it was great to see. Um, also, Flash and Arrow, that, that crossover that happened, Flash, Arrow, and Wally West's bag is great too. Uh, also, Teen Titans, I mean, Titans has ended too, which I'm sad about. <clears throat> I gotta get Benny to watch it with me. We gotta watch Titans. But the showrunner was like, don't make that face. <laughs> <laughs> <I mean>, uh, <laughs> <yeah>, motherfucker. <laughs> he said, like, Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh I'm sad there was gonna be a Red Hood spinoff and Tara was gonna get in season five. So you know when Tara comes to town. So I'm kinda sad we were gonna get Tara. Damn it. And then like Titans, we finally got everything we wanted in this season, and now we can't do anything. It stops us right in our tracks. Like we got the Beast Boy going through the red in the multiverse. Got Raven, got Nightwing. The full team was together. You got Connor. And the show just ends. You're breaking my heart. You're breaking my heart, Titans. No, no, no Donna. It's just uh I just Anyway, it's the end of an era. End of an era. Titans was a great show. Check it out. I might do a recap watch on the show. Or some type soon, but all things Titans. Uh, let's go. Let's get it. Um, uh, that's all I really. Well, I have. That's all I really had today. But the Tom Holland. I don't even want to talk about that movie. You see, you see his uh, TV show he was in with uh, the TV show. He's in a TV show. I think. Oh, Apple TV. Well, Apple TV don't count. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Apple if, if it's a series, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's a, it's yeah. It's it's, it's it's pretty good. Uh, I don't know, but I'm just like, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, Theo James has been cast in an adaptation of Stephen King's The Monkey with James Wan to set to produce the film. That follows racist as fuck. Twin brothers <laughs> as they find their father's <laughs> old monkey toy in the attic, but the gruesome death starts begin to all occur around them. I don't know. I don't know anything about that book. So, Benny. It's a, it's a short story. I haven't read it. Oh. I mean, bro, he, bro, he has over like 200 plus short stories. What? And the, and the, and the, literally the boogeyman, the, the movie that's coming out, is literally a 11 page short story that they're making movies. So, you know that like Stephen King, like his, his entire like work, it's going to be milked and money and make oh money, and God. it's not a bad thing too, because it's just like, bro, he has so many stories, like that mm. will like stand the test of time, bro. It's like oh, ridiculous. there's another. Hold on, I got, I got my, I do my Google's here. Hold on, I got, I got something for you. I got. Hold on. Oh shit. Hold on. Did you see what Kyle got me? Yes. Yeah, bro. That I'm was like, got like. That was got like. Uh, hold on. I have it. Yeah, I was right here. I got it just for you. Okay, so oh, shit, I yeah. saw it. It said, uh, the adaptation of Stevie King's Life of Chuck with Mike Flanagan to direct. Story? Wait, say that one more time. The Life of Chuck. Oh, Mike Flanagan. That's going to be good, though. Mike and it Flanagan. has uh, Charles K. and it's starring uh, Loki. Uh, Tom Hiddleston? Yeah, Tom Hiddleston in it. Well, I know one thing. You know one thing. If you get a Mike Flanagan, you know his wife is going to be there somehow. Oh, like, actor-wise. Yes. But also, yeah, it's going to be... It's going to have a lot of heart. And he's a big Stephen King, like, admirer. And he is made there... the Doctor Sleep movie. Uh, that was really good. Oh, me. yo. Uh, is there any Stephen King book that you want adapted? Like, you haven't had God, uh, well, first off, I would love to have the Dark Tower done as a series. I think that's on the work, like as a, as a show. I know that's mm. going to be done. Um, I know I I wanted it like a remake because they did like a, like one of those stupid mini series for Salem's Lot. I know they're doing a series for Salem's Lot, so that's already happening. Um, honestly. Like for a lot of the other stories that haven't like got like the the TV route, like uh, Duma Key, which is about an artist that lost like an arm. Well, no, a uh, construction worker that lost an arm and like partial part of his brain, and he starts to paint, and the paintings come to life. I would like to see that as a show. Obviously, like 
maybe some of his newer stuff, like the fairy uh, tale that came out last okay. year. Mark Hamill's in uh, it too. Shit. What? And in the life of Chuck. Yeah, he said it, it says the story follows the biography of Charles Krantz in reverse, beginning with his death and ending with his childhood. Ooh. That's different. That's different. That's slaps. That's different. I'm I'm banging with it. I'm if it's Mike it. Flanagan, I'm watching it. So I watch all his shit. He's a great, great, great creator. Oh, oh man. But I uh I just oh, that's a lot. All right, next is uh Wonder Woman. All right, we're doing it right now. We're going to do it live. It's fine. I don't care. All right, next. All right. Wonder Woman has a child, Trinity. That's a shitty name. Shut up. I'm sorry. <laughs> shut, your, shut your dirty little mouth. Shut your dirty little mouth right now. Let's shut your dirty little mouth right now. Dirty little mouth. All right, listen. Sounds like a stripper. Tom King. I was saw. I was saw. I want to beat the. F- Don't <laughs> forgive him. He does not know what he do. Okay, <laughs> he does not. They do not what they. They do not know what they do. Okay. <laughs> All right. I mix Tom King. is writing Wonder Woman, and the issue comes out eight hundred. All right, she's in issue eight hundred and issue one of Tom King. Okay, if I were you. Get the regular cover and then get a variant cover, and go to your comic book shops now or whatever now because that thing is gonna be gone. That right. is a key issue, okay? A key issue. So I want to get it graded. I'm getting it graded. Really? I'm not That's playing like no 60, games. Sixty, seventy dollars. Yeah, I ain't playing no games. I'm not playing. I've got. I'm getting. I gotta get a lot of wish I gotta get my She-Hulk graded, and my Wonder Woman graded. I am not playing no games. So. This is what we're going to do, okay? We're going to go to... I went to my comic shop today. I'm going to ask for that. I think I already have it unlocked, but I want variant covers. Variant covers. And I want Wonder Woman Trinity. I'm excited. Wonder Woman... I mean, Wonder Woman... <laughs> I want Wonder Woman... But, uh... Not... What else? Wonder Woman, uh... <laughs> Wonder Woman... Hey, hey, number hey. one. Tom King. Uh, Tom King. All right, go do it. Go pre-order it. Go support your local shops. Now, I'm excited. That's what I know who the dad is. Because I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't probably going to be is. some terrible fucking shit. Man. She did sleep with somebody like a, like a little bit ago in a comic book. Like, but I don't think it's the dad. I don't think that's the dad. I think it's somebody. It's got to be somebody like whoa, it's Bruce Wayne. But after that, shut up, it better not be. All right, all right. Next, all right. Three, all right. Next thing. Can we please get a book with John, Damien, and Trinity? That's all. Yeah. No, because one is an adult, the other one I don't fucking know, and then one's blue Superman. One's fighting injustice Superman too. He's getting cooked. <laughs> He's getting cooked. Yeah. But listen. Maybe. Please. That's all we want. I don't want much, man. I don't want much. I don't want much. I don't want much, okay? We don't want much here at uh Power Friendship Podcast here. We want love, we want friendship. That's what we want. Hit the like button, please. We need five likes. Five likes. Like, it's 14 views or plus whatever we have. Y'all better hit the like button. All right? Just saying. Betty's coming for you. Or Ben's going to beat you up, okay? Hit the like button. All right? Do you have anything else? Do you have anything else, Betty? I'm going to talk about music. Next. Do you want to hit any? All right. So that Taylor Swift is in town. <laughs> Not the Taylor Swift. So Taylor Swift is in town. So twenty thousand uh reviewers. Yeah. Uh well people after the concert they stood out and twenty more people like a lot well not twenty more people, but a lot more people stood out outside the concert and listened to her just singing outside the park in the parking lot from the parking lot. Cause they couldn't get in. Or they yeah, just... cause how they're gonna afford nine hundred dollars for a ticket? Yo, my boy wanted to get two tickets. It was twelve hundred dollars. No, that's, that's a, that's a Ticketmaster is a fucking corrupt piece of shit company. <laughs> Fuck them. Wow, wow. Yeah, bro. Like they they make like shit like this. Like, bro, you can buy season tickets for like a soccer team for nine hundred dollars, but yeah, Taylor Swift. It's like, bro, they they. They completely killed the whole ticket booth industry. Like, buying the tickets at the venue, it's like they have such a stronghold on every type 
a fucking industry out there. And they own companies with a different fucking name. They're all owned by the same fucking company. It's a monopoly. It's fucking terrible. Because, like, there's so many, like, events and things I want to go to. But it's just, like, you see the, the ticket value. It's like, oh, it's $20. You're like, bet. That's good. And then the fees are, like, $30. It's like, come on, man. How? Yo. It's like, how? It's like, how? 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 How is this legal? How? How? Okay, well, Taylor Swift was going outside the concert. My boy excited. I'm excited. But, yeah. Uh... We have, we have, we gotta go to a concert. We ain't been to one in a while. We gotta go to one. We gotta go to somebody. October, bro. That's the same weekend as New York Comic Con. I think it's the same weekend. October thirteenth. Uh, I think. See, uh, oh, it's the same weekend. Fuck. Uh, I think it is. Ah, oh, 12 to 13th. God damn. 12 to the... Wait, yeah, 12 to the 15th. Yep. 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 We could do it both days, could we? Could we do both days? No. No. Do we have to get a hotel? We gotta figure that out. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna figure something out. We're gonna figure out. New York Comic Con, we're coming. We're coming. We're coming for you, your mom, your dad, and your son. Okay? Everybody. All right. Uh, what do you listen to? Shit. What have I been listening? I've been listening to some weird shit. Hmm. Hold on. 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 Hold so I'm so into you, yeah. Listen, that's just, uh, this is classic. It's all all that I am. But um, thank you for listening to our show today. I mean, that's all I got. That's all I got today. We love you. Tell your mom, tell your dad. Hit the like button, Benny. Where can they find you? They can find me on Instagram at Benny J Blanco and on the Twitter at the Benny J Blanco. What about yourself, Sailor Lord? Hey, he said it. You can find me at Sailor Games eighteen TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, all the Instagram. We also have an Instagram and we have a TikTok. Uh, I work on TikTok right now, but the Instagram is up. Follow it. Uh, share us. Send us stuff. So there's all things. We love you. Hit the like button. Thank you. Share, subscribe. Love you. Have a great day. Drink your water. Happy Mother's Day. And whoever's not your mom, mothers don't have to be blood. You know, somebody took care of you, love whatever. Tell me you love them. Have a good day. Love you. Peace. I'm I'm pressing the button right now. I'm pressing the button right now. Mm -mm. I'm pressing the button right now. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm.